Holy crap, it's happening. Uh, there is a major company, one of the largest in the world, that is talking about possibly investing in Bitcoin. If you don't mind, hit subscribe, turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos just like this. Also, we are just in unprecedented times. If you want to trade this market because you think the market's going to go up, or if you think we're overvalued too, you can trade over on Margex. You can put in a long or short position and get trading in just a few minutes because they have no KYC process and you don't need a VPN either to access this. So you can start trading in just a few minutes. You can trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Caspa. You can use all different forms of collateral. As you can see, we are, seems like bouncing off this downtrend line, moving back up. We went all the way up to 68,700 earlier tonight on some of the news that just came out. So again, if you want to trade, there's a link underneath the video to this. There's also a link to BTCC underneath the video as well. Microsoft, after hours today, asked shareholders to vote on whether to consider investing in Bitcoin, basically to do a to uh, review and determine if it would make sense for them to invest in Bitcoin, conduct an assessment of investing in Bitcoin. Now. Microsoft uh, urged shareholders to vote against this assessment of investing in Bitcoin. Now, some people would take that as a negative, right? They say, well, Microsoft doesn't want shareholders to want them to invest in Bitcoin, so they're not going to. Um, but this is because Microsoft's man management already carefully considers this topic. This is not something that they're necessarily against. It's not like they said, we urge shareholders to vote against this because it's a waste of time because we're not going to invest in it. They're urging this because they're already looking at it, right? I guarantee you, if Microsoft is doing this, every single big tech company, especially after Tesla invested in Bitcoin years ago, is looking at this. I mean, they have tons of cash. All these companies <laughs> seem to have tons of cash, $75 billion. If you think they're not trying to find the best home for $75 billion, if you don't think that they have a full team looking at where to put this cash, because you know even if you just get one treasury versus another treasury, it can make a huge difference in the long term with $75 billion in cash. And this is with them buying back their shares aggressively. This is with them paying a dividend as well. Like They are trying their best to be able to swallow up and to use all this free cash flow. They make $23 billion a quarter. Of course, some quarters are down, but this is what happens with these big tech companies, these very profitable companies. This is a $3 trillion company that is looking at possibly buying Bitcoin, adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. I think this is why we actually moved up after hours. And then people realize, well, they probably already were looking at investing in Bitcoin. And this maybe just is coming to people's attention for the first time. But most of the people in the, new, in the know already knew this. So this is still interesting, though, because it gets us in front of more people. And what I think really is going to happen is more and more companies will consider this after the first of the year, after the accounting rules change. Because that's when it doesn't look quite as stupid. If they buy it at 80000 and Bitcoin goes down to 60000 and then it goes back up, they don't have to show a loss on their balance sheet. They, they can show it at fair value. So I think this will change for a lot of these big tech companies. They're going to think about it a lot more once these accounting rules change. So this is pretty cool. This is awesome to see more companies considering it. And it, they're being a little bit more light shined on this, but I guarantee you all these companies are already doing that, right? Uh, this is this is kind of funny. Me and the boys, when Microsoft adds Bitcoin to their balance sheet, this is something that you have to realize is coming if you're a Bitcoin investor. There are going to be a lot of companies that eventually add it to their balance sheet. Now, at the same time, we have a massive drop in Bitcoin on exchanges over the last few days, uh, with Bitcoin going from 2.43 million to 2.39 million. That might not sound like a lot, but that is 2%, about 2% of the Bitcoin available on exchanges. 40,000 Bitcoin just drained from exchanges very quickly. At the same time, IBIT has another big day. Okay, IBIT had $165 million flow into their Bitcoin ETF, which is 2,436 Bitcoin. Remember, unlike all the other ETFs that just go out and buy, I don't know, 
shares of the NASDAQ or something, there is a set amount of Bitcoin that they can buy. So this is pretty cool to see. Another big inflow for Bit, uh, for BlackRock. This is after yesterday when they had 4,800 Bitcoin, or 315 million. And this is after all these other big days. So keep in mind, starting on the 14th, they bought 80 million Bitcoin, which is over 1,000 Bitcoin. $80 million worth of Bitcoin, then 289 million, then 393, then 309, then 70, then 329, then 43 million, then 315 million, now 165 million. Like they just continue to stack. I made a video earlier today talking about how much they are stacking and what this means for the future. But keep in mind, there's 2,820 Bitcoin that were bought today by the Bitcoin ETFs and 450 that were mined. Quite, quite bullish. There are massive companies, multi-trillion dollar companies looking at adding Bitcoin to their balance sheet. Tesla potentially accepting Bitcoin as payment again. We have rates coming down. We have liquidity going up. We have nation states that are mining Bitcoin. That was just uh, brought up by a mining company today. We have certain political uh, parties now pushing and working together. We actually saw this earlier today. Uh, right here, working together to make sure that people have the right to hold Bitcoin, to use Bitcoin as payment, and all that kind of thing, uh, making sure that it is a right, not a privilege, to be able to do that. So we have all that at the same time when the supply continues to grow just very slightly because we just had a halving, and yet the demand is absolutely insane. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. Again, let me know what you think about Microsoft disclosing that assessment of investing in Bitcoin is currently proposed. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. I do think this is a very bullish setup for Bitcoin. If we look at something else too, let's look at Solana. Solana has been racing up as well. As we can tell from the chart, it is in a bit of a breakout. I mean, if we move this line up, I mean, you can look at this previous peak. You might have a little bit further to go before breaking this level, but we are setting in higher lows and higher highs as well, just like we are with Bitcoin. I'd go off you know, probably this chart because this is where we got rejected twice and three times. We kind of broke out above it recently, quite bullish with Bit, uh, with Solana at 175. A lot of altcoins will follow in my opinion, but let me know your thoughts on all this underneath. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the link underneath the video to Marjex. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.